Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. No. And I would really like to think that for somebody that makes a comment like this, you should boot them out of the damn FC. Oh no, I'm looking at this. Lower left corner. It's pretty fun to abuse someone new. No. I don't know, I wasn't around. I just saw this come up. I'm going to look a little further, but no, there, if only because, uh, no, no, life is already stressful enough as a tank, because, uh, this game is pretty much turned into World of Warcraft, everybody's playing the game for so damn long, they don't want to be there, or they just want to get through the stuff as quickly as possible and get it out of the way, no, you help the tank, you don't hurt him. Now, if the tank is totally stupid and like doesn't even know the basics, then I can prop then I can probably understand it. Now, if again, if if the tank has no idea how to tank, like if he doesn't have the basic fundamentals of it, and he's and he's doing an expert then yeah, but the most you need to do on there is just boot them out of the dungeon. Or tell them to come back when you know the basics. Come back when you know the basics, out the door. Now, that I agree with. I mean, because if you're doing, if you're doing end game stuff, you've had 80 levels to figure out how to tank. If you still haven't figured out how to do that, then yeah, you don't deserve to be in there. But on the other hand, though, if it's just a if it's just a tank that might just be barely geared for whatever content he's running, and um, you know, if it, if it's his very first time being in that dungeon and still trying to get a feel for the place, then no, you don't abuse the guy, you help him. And secondly, it's especially true of uh, Kaylee here, if she's in like all 500 gear. And if she already grossly outgears the content and she's sitting there doing that, then um ultimately ultimately just lay out the DPS, go slow, or again tell them, look, come back, come back when you have better gear and when you have better skill, and you know, that kind of thing. But the last thing you want to do is treat a tank like shit. Cause uh, like I said before, tanks already have it bad enough as it is. Cause they're already having they're already having to deal with pushy players trying to trying to speed the dungeon along. They're probably pulling for him and stuff. So he's not even being given given a chance to learn how to learn how to tank. I wish I was there to tell the tank that, hey, don't tank the random dungeons. Just, just stick with trials and raids. Because the, the dungeon runners are pretty toxic. They won't give you a chance to learn. Yeah, if I'm, uh, if I'm running random dungeon runs, I go as DPS. No, if I'm uh, if I'm running raids and trials, I'm more likely to tank those because they're not they're not wham bam thank you ma'am speed fest. 
You know, you, you have to pay attention to mechanics and all that. But again, I don't. I'm not in. I'm not in that run. I don't know the tank, but uh, like I said, basically I have two opinions on that. I mean, if he's if he has no idea how to hold aggro, like not even the basics, then yeah, he doesn't belong in there. He needs to go back and start woodshedding until he gets better. But on the other hand, if he actually is know what he's doing and if he's actually giving an honest effort, you know, no, you shouldn't be abusing him. You don't punish an honest effort. Or, excuse me, you don't punish an honest but failed effort. That's just Bush League bullshit right there. I guess gunbreakers must be getting a bad rap or something. Uh, no. But again, if they're, I'm, I'm not there on the run. I mean, if they're, if they don't even know the basics, then yeah, they don't belong there. I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but he kind of, kind of struck a nerve here. Tanking is my favorite role. I love tanking, but again. This is the bullshit you have to put up with. It's one of the reasons why I don't I don't run randoms, especially dungeons. Again, trials and raids, I'm I'm more likely to do those. But yeah, this this game's become a lot like World of Warcraft. I mean, personally, I think they need to. Yeah, let's go over here. Personally, I think they need to, these, uh, the differential between the average item level, the minimum requirement, and the level sink is too lenient, it's too generous. I think it needs to be knocked down to maybe, maybe 440 or something like that. You know, or, you know, keep the, keep the differential between the two numbers to basically making the content more difficult. Because when you grossly outgear the stuff, you don't have to pay attention to mechanics. You don't have to worry about the big hits and stuff like that. I mean, you can just heal through those or you can just tank through those. So, that gives you less of a reason to pay attention to mechanics and finesse and all that. That's the kind of stuff I like to run. Um, the new dungeon? I've only run it once. Or once, maybe twice. So, I don't, I really don't know how difficult it is because uh, I'm running with like speed tanks or pulling two or three at a time and bosses die so quick. I mean, I get, I take preventable damage because I've only, you know, because I've only been there once or twice so I don't know all the mechanics. So I'm taking preventable damage. I'm getting vulnerability stacks. But nobody's calling me out on it. They just heal through it. Boss dies. We just move along. So I, I really don't know I really don't know how hard the stuff is. It's, like I said, everybody everybody grossly outgears this stuff. Everybody's run this stuff thousands of times. So they know it by the back of their hand. So if somebody like me is, you know, racking up the vulnerability stacks, getting close to dying, they just, they just heal me through it. So... And, um, I would actually tank trust a lot more often, but the problem is, is you have almost the flip side of the players when you're running with, um, NPCs, because I don't think they're, I don't think they're programmed to have mass pulling in mind. They're only programmed to deal with single pulling because I'll pull one group, run off to the next one, 
they're still staying back here, just DPSing away on this previous group. You know, or they're just staying there, or they're, they're doing all the wrong abilities and whatnot, so... Okay, seems they're talking more. Uh, you can be new and still no hot attack. Yes. That's just what I was saying a few moments ago. I mean, like I said, as long as you know the basics, I'm fine. If you're just barely geared for the content, if it's your first time there, no problem. I'll even explain the stuff to you, especially if I've run it a lot. But like I said, if you also said a few moments ago, we've gotten to where uh, everybody out gears the stuff, and they've run the shit so many times they know it by the back of their hand. But they just want to get it over with. Any new players that get in their group, they're just seen as an impediment. <coughs> I guess. It could be this, too. That happens from time to time as well. Some people, uh, instead of taking the time to level up their character, they just get a jump potion and do it like that. Which, to be fair, I do it too. But, I also spend some time on the training dummies, too, to figure out how the class works and how the mechanics are and stuff. I, you know, I take a little time to try to learn how the class plays. I'm not just mad rushing him to the end game. I didn't. I didn't care about the story because there was way too much text to read. But at the time I was level boosting all my characters, they didn't have the option where um, you can change the text speed. I mean, back when I first started playing this game, I think the only option you had was either you had to you had to watch the whole entire thing, or you had to sit there skip 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 skip, or you could just skip the cutscene entirely. You didn't have an option to where you can you can adjust the speed. Buy my other stack. Yeah. Story once. The healer is pretty good. Yeah, I'd probably say that too. Healer's probably overqualified. But like I said, re I think um, being able to change the text speed was just only a recent invention. I wish they had it when I, I wish they had it when I first started playing this game. Otherwise, yeah, I probably would have put us probably would have stuck around for the whole story because it gets annoying. It gets annoying because either I have to sit here skip 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 or I have to skip the entire cutscene all at once. There wasn't an in between option.
Yeah. And I couldn't tell which ones had the voice acting because back then, like I do now, I don't I don't wear my headphones. For one, it, it hurts my ears over time, and secondly, a lot of the music and sound effects get super repetitious anyway. It, it almost defeats the purpose of me of listening to vinyl. Not much point having a record going and having headphones on. <laughs> 